Hi, Earth. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is the reading for the Earth signs. <clears throat> Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For the week of um, Halloween, October 30th through November 5th or 6th. I don't know. Whatever works for you. If it's a good reading and you extend it, if it's like, eh, I don't really want to hear that, then, you know, cut it down. <laughs> so, and the little, the message and the energy is really guidance and intuition for all of us and being it's halloween week um dia de los muertes my, my candles lit you know call on your ancestors call on your guides i mean they're always here um but you know like make it special All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, hanged man, empress. Ace of Swords. The Hanged Man is a card of pausing. It's a card of willingly seeking out a new perspective, willingly wanting to see things upside down from a different angle, willingly giving something up that doesn't really work anymore. And, you know, Sometimes when we give up a certain, I don't know, attitude or habit or way of thinking, sometimes it's like this, it's it's really like, oh, I don't really want to do this. I, you know, I've got to start thinking this way. And it's almost like you're fighting yourself. But in this in this particular reading, it feels like I just let it slip away. It, it just, I just let it slip away. It just doesn't, uh, I just let it slip away so that I can have a more illuminated outlook. And I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. It's kind of the energy I'm feeling. So this morning, a friend of mine stayed with me because he couldn't get a hotel room. It's a long story. So he was with me for like two days. And it was really nice. And I have two guests. So it was four of us. And so there was a lot of energy. And the dogs are going crazy, as they do. And uh, now in the afternoon, it's like super quiet. And I'm super relaxed. And... It's like, you know, I'll get these readings done as I get them done. If it takes an hour, it takes an hour. It takes two hours, it takes two hours, a lot hour. Okay. And then I have the Empress who's all about creativity and abundance and flow and ease and pregnancy. And she's really relaxed. So it's like, well, all this stuff that in my head that doesn't really work anymore, I'm going to like let it go. And then I'm going to receive new creativity, new abundance, new ideas, um, a pregnancy, right? And it's going to be clear. And it's going to be clear. And, you know, this is, it's also, it's an A, so it's new. It's like, I never really looked at it like that. I never really um, thought of it like that. I Now that I've gotten calm, like new ideas can come through, right? Hmm. This came up for air as well. Uh, you know, from this, the traditional meaning of this card, right, is like, oh, you have a choice to make and it's a difficult choice and blah, 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 and you don't see the whole thing. But I always read this as intuition. I feel like these are antennae and she's got to rely on something other than her sight. So she has to rely on her her inner vision or her sentiment, you know, her, her, her feelings, her hearing to make a choice as to what's over. And what's beginning yeah and you know sometimes <clears throat> let's say you have some situation that's like maybe not the most pleasant thing i'm just giving an example and um it's like well you can keep on going back to it and going back to it you know like let's say you know somebody said something to you that just rubbed you the wrong way or whatever 
you keep on going back. It's like, I can't believe I said that. Do, do, do. You know, you could tell that story for a thousand years if you want. Everyone be like, oh, I can't believe they said that to you. Or you can say, you know what? I'm done with that. I'm done with that. And uh, I'm moving into something new. You know, like, I, I really feel like that. There's a certain, there's a sense of completion more than there is a sense of going around and around in a circle. There's a sense of completion because we start with the hanged man and the hanged man willingly gives something up. And also the swords can cut. So it's like, I'm cutting that out. I'm cutting out that thought pattern. I'm cutting out that, that habit. Hmm. And, you know, this, this is like a card of grief. It really is. But it's a change. It's a five. So, you know, sometimes you have uh, a relationship, whether it's friendship or business or whatever, or even like a relationship with yourself in a way, or a relationship with like mm, a way of feeling. And it's like, okay, well, I have, I have, it's almost like you have uh, a piece of clothing, right? And you've worn it for so long, like it, the sun has already changed the color. There's holes in it. Oh, there maybe there's pills or something. And it's like I've held on to this for as long as I can hold on to it, and I've worn it for as many times as could be worn. And now it's time to let you know have the disappointment. And allow it to change. Get rid of it. Like get rid of it. Yeah, because the you know the river is there, and it's like okay, I'm gonna let it pass. Because then I can, you know, part of it because I have the Empress here. I'll show you the cards. Because I have the Empress here and she's so benefic and this one completes a cycle. It, it's like, okay, maybe I had a beautiful plant and it gave fruit for a long time. And now something happened and it's like, it's dying or dead. It's like, okay, I'm going to take that plant and maybe I'm going to chop it up and then, or just get rid of it so that the, the garden could be abundantly beautiful. I, I don't want to hang on to something that's dead and ugly. It's like, that's what I'm getting. All right. I'm willing to let go and be abundant. This is I'm, it's very clear. My intuition is telling me that something is over and that there's a season of grief that can be over so that I can move into what I do have and what is abundant. And here go the dogs. Um, okay. The um until the 31st, which is tomorrow, uh, I'm still offering $40 reading of 30 to 30 minute readings for $40. That's 120. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to go back to regular price. And so if you want a reading, jump on it now. Anyway, guidance and intuition. Extended readings are available for members, $4.99 or $6.99 a month. Please become a member and um, happy Halloween. Blessings. <laughs>